Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I'm going to be showing you what I got at Beauty Bay on Black Friday on the sale and I'm going to test it, review it and yeah, you can see if you like it. I have a new camera so I am still trying to get used to it. I have a viewfinder right now so if I'm looking like this, I'm looking at the viewfinder, I'm still finding it very hard to look at the lens instead of the viewfinder because I can see myself. But we'll get used to it and I think it's important to start right now because I have a ton of things to try and talk about and show you so let's get started. Um, I'll start with the three small things first. I put them over here. Yeah. I got three brushes. I got this one. Oh, it's a little bit bright. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's a little bit bright, but um, it's the Wet n Wild crease brush. You can see a little bit better like this. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a crease brush. Then I have the Wet n Wild large eyeshadow brush. You can see a little bit better because it's in the packaging, but yeah, it's white so it reflects the ring light. And I have a small eyeshadow brush that's looking like this also very white <laughs> um, I have the prices right here for the small eyeshadow brush I paid 1 euros and 20 cents right now it's 2 euros for the crease brush I paid 1 euro and it's currently 2 euros and for the large eyeshadow brush this is it right yeah I paid one euro and 20 cents and it's also two euros out of sale um then i also bought three lipsticks also from when a wild i bought um the mega last liquid katsu matte finish um in the color missy and fierce this color then i also bought uh the wet and wild mega last liquid katsu in high shine and this is the color Oh, Bad Girls Club. There you go. As you can see, they're quite similar, but this one's a little bit more pinky. Then I also bought a new color for me. I don't really use these colors, but I wanted to try it. Uh, this is Kali Gimme Mocha, and it's also the matte variant of the Katsu lipstick. So for those, let's see what I paid. Um, I paid two euros and 75 cents for the high shine one. That's currently 5 euros and 50 cents and the other ones I paid 3 euros and 50 cents for and they're 5 euros 25 so that's a good deal. Then I bought this bronzer, it's a little bit bright, I don't know if you can see it properly but yeah it's called Ticket to Brazil. Yeah it's still a little bit bright but as you can see it's not really that dark. And because I have quite a fair complexion, I thought that would be pretty good. Um, I bought that for two euros and fifty cents, and it's usually five euros, but it's also on sale right now for three fifty. So then I also bought this stick foundation. I had to guess the color. Um, the last time that I bought a Wet n Wild foundation was in August two thousand nineteen, I think. Or it was in March because that's two times I went to America and I had shell ivory I think in my other one and this is a um, foundation stick I've never used a foundation stick so I'm very curious to see how this will work and yeah this is the one shell ivory it's the photo focus foundation stick I think it's called and that one I paid three euros and 90 cents for and they're usually 650 but also on sale right now for 520 then I am trying a new brand. This is the brand called Unicorn Lashes. Um, as you can see, the packaging is stunning. I paid six euros and sixty cents for them. I hope that didn't mess up my lighting. They're usually eleven euros, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm very new at lashes. I tried some. Uh, Magnetic lashes, if you want to see how I did those and like how I 
experience those, you can check those on my Instagram. It's called Rage Traveling, like my YouTube channel. But yeah, so that's that. The uh, lashes are called Bubble Pop. Yeah, they're vegan, they're 3D unicorn lashes, so that's lit. And then I also bought another new brand. Um, I couldn't buy on Beauty Bay without trying a Beauty Bay product. This is the Bright Matte uh, Beauty Bay 42 color palette. I just realized I didn't grab something glittery. Um, this is it. I think it's very stunning. I'm very curious to see how it'll pay off because this is again my first Beauty Bay palette. Um, I bought that one for 13 euros 75 cents and it's currently cheaper. It's currently 11 euros 45 so get it if you want it and it's usually 23 euros so it's pretty good deal. And that's everything I got at my Black Friday Beauty Bay haul. So yeah, let's get into trying things. Okay, so I zoomed you in a little bit and I'm sorry if you can hear the construction sounds. I didn't mention it in my intro and my haul part. Um, they've been doing construction the entire week and I've been wanting to film this so badly so I'm just gonna go with it and hope you don't hear a lot of it. Um, so I got this primer, the My, My Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This is what it looks like. It's a tester which I got at Sephora for free and um, yeah, I don't wear foundation, like, at all, like, once in a blue moon, and I only have, like, pretty bad primers, they keep messing up my makeup, so I low-key didn't want to use a primer, but I've heard pretty good things about this one, so I thought, if I'm gonna use a primer, I'll use this primer, so I'm just gonna apply a bit of it on my face, and if I do anything wrong, I'm sorry, as I said, I don't wear foundation that often. I'm more of an eyeshadow person, which is why almost everything I bought was um, eye makeup related. Okay, this smells a bit weird, but I don't mind it. Okay, I think I covered my face in it. Maybe a little bit more over there. ears there we go so yeah I think this should be good as you can see my skin is very shiny right now um, it always is but the primer made it a little bit more shiny yeah we'll see if it works I'm very curious so we're gonna start with the stick foundation yeah it's just a regular stick foundation um, I'll swatch it right now for you by the way Ooh, that color. Oh, that's not gonna be good, is it? You can barely see it, but it's right there. We'll see. <laughs> Ooh, we'll see, I'm just gonna have to try it. Okay, so I'll be using this palette as a mirror. And I always just see people whack it on. This is weird. I'm trying to see if you can see the color difference. But you can't really on camera. Okay, so I just applied a little bit and we're just gonna blend it out with my damp beauty sponge blender. This is one from Real Techniques. This is not how you use this. Cause it's not blending out. Maybe I need to use more. I think I need to use more. Okay, let's see. Then some on my forehead. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so the coverage is pretty bad. I don't know if you can see. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, it's very shiny as well, and I haven't even covered my entire face in it yet. Oh, shit, I need to grab my concealer. 
Oh, it's in my hair. Yeah. So this is the first time I'm trying a stick foundation. It might be the wrong way I'm applying it, but that's why it's not working the greatest. But oh well. It might be buildable too. Let's try it. A little bit maybe. But this this red patch right here, that should be covered easily. Yeah, I don't see it being covered that easily at all. Okay, so the shade isn't that bad. But I can't see where I haven't put any foundation yet just because it's like so sheer. So I'm just whacking it on and I might be putting too much on. But I don't want to do a review and not do half my face. There we go. Okay. I don't hate it. Would I use it daily? No, because I don't use foundation daily. But the coverage isn't high, that's to say the least. It's a little shiny, but I don't hate it, I think. It's not bad. Okay, so now that the foundation is on, the next step is concealer. At least that's how everyone does it. Um, Let's see. I have this one. I have the Essence Camouflage Plus Matte Concealer in the color Warm Sand. It might be a little bit too dark, but we'll see. It says it's waterproof and tattoo covering, so I really want to test it out. I bought this recently, like this week, so I'm also going that to test. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't seem too dark, really. Let's just try it first. Comparing it, it did cover a little bit more. It's not really that brightening, but that's because I didn't pick a light, light shade because I just look like a ghost when I do that. But it is blendable. I think it goes well into the foundation. I hope it's buildable though because I want a little bit more coverage under my eyes. Anyone else doing anything weird with their mouths when they're doing their foundation or concealer? I have it with basically everything, but um weirded out by it okay yeah I don't hate it I think it's okay it's not high high coverage so if you want high coverage don't get this but it's not the worst I'll do a little bit up here and a little bit down here for some extra coverage yeah it is basically the same color as my foundation which I like covered a little bit more not too much um the video i don't know if it shows a big difference but the difference is difference is good enough for me at least so the next step would be my cream blush i think who knows because i have my contour product is powder and everything else is powder as well i think so i think this is the next step let's use the mirror not the viewfinder Awesome, so now it's time for powder. Just realized I didn't grab a powder brush, but we'll just use my contour brush, should be fine. This is the one I grabbed right now. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but we will see. Um, it's the new Master Fix by Face Studio Maybelline Setting Perfecting Loose Powder. And I got it in the color white, I think. Is that the color? I don't know, I don't see a color, but it's it's white because it's translucent. Sometimes it has color, but I'm just using this one. 
there we go we're powdered um, for some reason I think we look pretty white in this but I don't know if that's the reality mm, yeah a little bit the reality <laughs> oh well we'll see how this turns out so powdering done I, sh I will show you the close-ups of my skin in a little bit I want it to have some time to fill in um, I am going to bronze up with a Real Technique sculpting brush and the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Take It To Brazil. So you can see I need some color in my skin and I don't really use bronzer a lot so we might fail at applicating this, applicating, applying. Okay, so it's definitely a little warm for my skin but um, I don't hate it. Oh, that was a little bit too high. Ooh, can I fix that? Hmm. Okay, the powder foundation combo on my chin is really weird. Okay, so I tried to zoom in on my chin because the foundation and powder combo is not doing very good. It seems to be getting into my pores, but Oh well, um, maybe it'll be less when I finish. Um, yeah. Oh, don't blow in your brush. Ooh. Okay, so I think this is how people do bronzer. There is a little bit more color in my face. Um, I'm afraid to use too much, so maybe I should, but um, yeah, I think it looks decent. It's a pretty bronzer. Um, maybe because I'm too careful with it, it won't show up that much, but I really do like it. So that is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. There we go. Yeah, so it did bring a little bit more life into my face. So then I'm just going to quickly try to contour a little bit. I never do it, so we'll see how that goes with my... Islip's face contour palette. It's dirty as heck, so I won't show it too long. But um, yeah, this is just a light medium contour palette. So we'll see how this goes. Haha, <laughs> yikes. I went a little overkill on this side because I thought, oh, I need to use a little bit more than usually because then I will show up a little bit better. Well, I went too much, so I'm going to be using my foundation, my stick foundation, and to see if I can tone it down a little bit. Okay, it didn't work perfectly, but it is a little less. That's good. Okay, so the contour is on. Um, I suck at contour, so uh, sorry. You won't learn anything from me. But yeah, that is the face done, I think. Bronzer is on, contour is on. I just need some highlight, but I'll do that after the eye makeup. Because the most important thing for me here is the eye makeup. Because I'm really interested to see how this performs. But first I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to do those off camera because they take some time. Okay, these eyebrows won't win any prices, but they're okay. Um, yeah, I zoomed you in a little bit more because we are going to be working on the eyes with the Bright Matte Palette. Um, if you forgot what was in there, these are the colors. That was my face. There you go. And because I am more um, used to pink because a lot of eyeshadows I use daily or if I use eyeshadow, it's going to be pink eyeshadow. Even most of my brushes are stained pink because I use so much pink. I clean them, but they're still pink. Um, I'm going to do one pink eye and then one other color eye. I have a lot of options here, so maybe blue purple. That would be a great combo. These are the brushes that I got, and I'm going to be trying them. The first one I'm going to try is this one. This is the Wet n Wild. I have no idea. I think it's the large eyeshadow brush because it doesn't say on the brush. But yeah. Um, I'm going to start with 
nothing else. I'm going to put up a picture of the palette right here and arrow what color I'm using because I can keep holding up the palette but there's no use. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put that in this crease. Okay, so this is exactly my skin tone. It's a good base color. Yeah, perfect. You don't see it at all. Perfect start of the look. So now that we have a base color, I am using the same brush and I am dipping into Sweet Tooth, the lightest pink color. Just a little bit. I'm going to bring that in my crease. Okay, the payoff is very little. Maybe I need to use a little bit more. Okay, that seems a little bit better. There is some kickback in the pan and a lot of dust coming off, but we'll see. Okay, now that I pick up a little bit more, as you can see it's showing up some more. Just going to go in one more time. And there we have our base pink color. I am not digging this brush too much yet because it doesn't blend too well. I don't know, I don't like the shape of it. I prefer more fluffy round brushes like this one. This one isn't really fluffy, but it's flexible, it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Strawberry Bonbon right now. Okay, this brush is a little bit wet from the cleaning I did earlier today, so let's see if it works still. Um, so the shade did become a little bit wet, so that'll maybe make it a little bit harder in blending but as you can see this one has good payoff wow okay so i'm going to go back with this brush into sweet tooth to see if i can blend this a little bit it might be a little bit rough because it became a little bit wet yeah as you can see it's hard to blend out once it's a little wet so you don't want to use wet brushes like I am because I just cleaned almost all my brushes so that's cool um which means I will use this one this fluffy brush and I will use cosmopolitan cosmopolitan up here Let's see if I can blend it a little bit okay so that's showing up a little bit less because it's not all wet but as you can see, it's not blending at all. That's lit. Um, kind of close right here. I'm going to use the brush again, but this time I'm going to dip it into Strawberry Bonbon to see if I can blend that color a little bit into the crease and the cosmopolitan color. Okay, so the color is disappearing right here. I have that sometimes, so it could be just my eye, but it's something to note. And it also could be because it was a little wet. There we go. Okay, so I think I saved it a little bit. We'll see. Yeah. I'm struggling I'm, I'm struggling so next I'm going to be using head over heels which isn't a pink color it's more of a red color to see if I can put a little bit dimension into this look because it's very much the same color and head over heels is also a little bit pink so that didn't put a lot of dimension in my eyes Ooh, it shows up really pink on camera. It's not that, that pink, but it is pretty good. Um, I'm going to blend this out. Sometimes, 
yeah as you can see this eye is not working for me i don't know if it is the um wet brush that ruined it all i don't know but um i'm going to finish it um using sweet tooth i'm putting it a little bit under my eye just a little bit can barely see it but it is there i promise I'm going to be using this flat angled brush to put a little bit of the sweet tooth under the lash line. Just a little bit. There we go. Blend it out with the big fluffy brush again. Okay. As for the pink colors, if it blended a little better, it might be my mistake with the wet brush. They look great. Like, this won't blend out pretty on camera. It looks a little bit better in real life, but it's not the greatest. But it would be a decent pink palette. But now, we are going to use um, other colors, and I'm thinking a little bit blue-purple. So, we are going to start with the blue-purple. I still have this angled brush. Angled flat brush that I got from one a while so yeah I'm going to start with this brush all the other brushes I use by the way are usually non-brand because I have pretty cheap brushes so I'm sorry if you're trying to get the same brush what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with daydream which is a little bit green blue color as you can see pretty Let's try it. I didn't put a base color this time, so we'll see how it performs. And I'm also not using an eyeshadow primer, by the way, so if you use an eyeshadow primer, it probably will show up a little better. But because I usually do my eyeshadow looks in a rush, and most people will, you want something that performs decent without as well. I don't like this color at all. Like if you use a primer, it'll probably show up a little bit better. But as you can see, it has a decent payoff and it blends pretty decent. Using the same brush, I'm going to be going into Paradise, which is a light blue color. And I'm going to blend that in there. Wow, that was. Wow. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it. So I need another fluffy brush. This will have to do. This brush, um, which I got from Primark. With how pretty. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Daydream with this fluffy brush. Barely anything on the brush, and blend it up a little bit. Can be one more video. Okay, this part is still a little bit damp too, but it managed. Managed. And now I'm going to go into the purple. Um, I will start with the more blue purple, which is called blue. Which is blue in French, by the way. This is it. It shows a little bit more blue on camera than it is in real life. It's more purple, but yeah. Oh, some okay, back on my nose. Fall out. There we go. I'm doing quite a Harley Quinn look, by the way. That's not the intention. Okay, so I am brushing the powder off this What a Wild brush because most of us don't have a lot of brushes, so we reuse the ones we have. And most of us don't use two different colors on two different eyes. To blend it a little bit more. Okay. It looks a little bit more blended eye roll, I promise, I promise. Okay, so now we are going in with the final purple.
purple, which is called Purple Power. Wow. I'm gonna do that. There's still a lot of that in there, so we'll see. Okay, that is a beautiful purple. Oh, let me look in the camera, by the way. Okay, it shows up a little bit more blue on camera again, but it looks really good, actually. So I'm gonna blend it a little bit more. And I'm going to use this one with a little more of the paradise color, the light blue color, and put it on there. Because I lost a lot of blue. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to use the final 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 purple color also on this brush um which is called grape escape because purple's a little bit escaping in this look I don't know why, but oh well, I'll deal with it. Where is my blending brush? There it is. Okay. I get a Harley Quinn look. That's funny. Yes. And then I'm going to use the same brush that I used on there, my other eye. Um, I'm going to be putting purple power because it's lacking a little bit purple. It's that purple. It's also in there, but it looks very blue. There we go. Doesn't look too purpley either, but it does look more purple than it know of itself. Blending that a little bit. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow. I think without my own mistakes, this would make a very good palette. As you can see, it blends decently over here and it's pretty. Um, I can't say for all the colors because I only used a couple, but I think this is a decent palette for the money. Obviously, it's not the best, but it does have good payoff. As you can see, it's pretty clear. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put something on the eyelids. I will be using this Ice Lips Face glitter thing. It's kind of like the Stila thing, but Ice Lips Face, which I love. I'm going to put that in the middle. Just down the middle. There we go. As you can see, it's really pretty. I think it will be prettier with the other eye though because this is a more pinky version. There we go. And I'm going to use the color Electric, this one from my Anastasia Subculture palette um, that I bought in TJ Maxx. Um, it's a very yellowy one, one, <laughs> and I am going to put that on top of the glitter. I crease the glitter a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. It's a little bit too green for me, yellowy for me. I wish I would have seen a little bit more green. Oh well. That's pretty. I like it. As you can see, this eye has a little bit less glitter. This really fixed it. But 
I'm not mad. I think this looks fine. Put some mascara on. I use the Lash Lift by Maybelline. This bottle. There we go. Mascara is on. We are going to be trying our lashes now. And I'm very scared because I really never use lashes. So we'll see. Here are our lovely lashes. Unicorn Cosmetics. They are very big. So I'm very scared. But we will see. This does not come with glue, by the way. So if you're out of glue, buy some because you won't be able to. Um, you won't get any. Um, I am using the Kiss Adhesive, the Kiss Eyelash Adhesive. This is what it looks like. Um, I don't know if it's any good because I really don't use eyelash eye glue eyelash glue a lot so yeah um first off i'm going to be measuring and i will be cutting the last bit off there we go because they're a little bit too big for me right now and i also noticed that there's a little piece in front of the outer piece, like a tiny, tiny, tiny piece that I'll cut off too because I don't want it to poke in my eye. Okay, so this is the lash all cut. Let's see if I can get it on. As you can see, I suck at putting on eyelashes. Okay, so this piece is not perfect, but um, they're on. I think they're really gorgeous. Like, oh my god, if that piece was a little bit better. Ugh. It's so pretty! Oh my god. Okay, let's try the other eye now. Okay, this one also isn't on perfectly, but I'm just gonna keep it like this. Um, because I just wanted to show you the lashes and I don't need to have them on perfectly and sit here for hours to try and do that. As you can see, let me move back a little bit. They're really pretty. They're very dramatic. As you can see, I do like this in there covering my entire eyelids, but I really do like them. I just hope I get better at applying them and not glue my eyelashes together every single time. But yeah, these are the Unicorn Cosmetics 3D Lashes Vegan in the style is the famous bubble pop. Yay. Okay, so these are the lashes up close. I can see this one is already letting go, but that's because of my own fault. But yeah, just don't mind the application, just look at how beautiful the lashes are. Okay, here we are again, zoomed out. As you can see, everything looks better zoomed out, so... Oh my god! <laughs> I really love the lash, I really do. But, I've been doing this video way too long, and I need to finish with the lips. I also need some highlighter, so... First, let's put on some highlighter. I use the Wen Wild Mega Glow highlighting powder. The packaging is also very fucked up, so I won't show it too much. There we go. We have a little bit of glow, and now we are going to apply the lipsticks. Which, where did I put them? Oh, right here. Okay, so I have three colors. I'm going towards this one, the shine one. Okay, so this is the Wet n Wild one without the plastic thing. Ah, but first I'm going to apply some lip liner. Uh, I bought a new one from Essence in the shade Cheerful. So my lips are aligned right now, you can barely see because I got a nude color. Um, I have to warn you, my lips are very dry right now, so if it looks ugly, that's probably why. But yeah, let's apply the liquid lip. Okay, so this is the color. Um, I have to say, I don't love this formula. It's a little... I like a little bit more runny. This is kind of hard to distribute. Um, it's a pretty color. I did mess up right there, but it looks fine. I do like my formula a little bit more runny, but it's okay. 
I will swatch the other two lipsticks really fast to see what they look like. So this is the liquid catsuit in Gimme Mocha. It's a beautiful nude color. I don't know if it shows up a little bit more red, but yeah, that's that's basically the color. Maybe a little bit more brown. And then if I put the red color next to it, let's see if it shows you how not red it is. Oh, this is stunning color. It's more pinky red. Like I expected the this one to be more pink, but it looks like this one will be more pink, which is weird. But yeah, there they are. I think they're both stunning. As you can see, they're a little bit patchy, but I think they're fine. And that's it. I have an entire face of makeup on. Oh my god. And that's it. I have everything on. Everything has been tested. And I'm pleasantly surprised. The lashes, even though I suck at applying them, are very stunning, as you can see. I also do love the eyeshadows. They're more difficult to work with than other eyeshadows I own, but I do believe that they are pretty good for the price that they are. The brushes, I do like them. They're not my favorite brushes, but they work everything you can ask for. Um, the foundation, I don't really know, to be honest, because if I get my mirror, it was doing a little bit something weird on my chin. I couldn't get it on camera, but yeah, it seems to be have gone away, mostly. Mostly, so yeah, my forehead looks fine, which is usually where it messes up the most. Um, I don't hate it. I don't think it's high coverage. I prefer a little bit more liquid formula, but this works as well. Yeah, I think it looks great, honestly. I look great. Yeah. <laughs> so the lipsticks are also really, really good. I do like the pigment of it. As you can see, this one is the high shine, but it's not, not that shiny. And the matte ones, now that they've dried up, are matte as well. And that's all of them. I think I have- oh, the bronzer! Um, I suck at bronzing. I don't know, it didn't do much for me, but it's probably the way I applied it. Because I was too afraid to use too much. But I think they're all great products, to be honest. <laughs> I know, I'm shocked. Um, this Black Friday was a success. I'm especially in love with these lashes. They look so good. Maybe if I apply them a little bit better, they'll look better. But yeah, this is the full face of new products. Everything will be linked below if you are interested in buying them. I will link them all on Beauty Bay, if you, but if you want to get it on your local retailer, just copy the name. Yeah. <laughs> I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Um, I just want to say I am obviously not a pro of makeup. Uh, as you can see at the result, I am not that good at all. But I do like testing makeup and hopefully with my review you can see if you want to try it yourself or not. If you are a little better at makeup then you will maybe be able to work with things a little bit more than I can like the eyeshadow. But I do think they are great products might be worth the investment. They're all pretty cheap products. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you again very soon. Bye!